what's up everybody, my name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to a bloody quick way through Dishonored 2 where we're trying to complete the entire game, game as, well, not so quickly, but as bloody as possible without using any magic powers. We just need to get upstairs. Because, uh, of course, today we're gonna take out, we're at chapter 8, we're gonna take out Luke, Duke, Luca Abel in his mansion right over there. Not, not, not out of my institute, but that, that thing over there is the Duke's mansion. So, let's have a little chat with Megan and Sokolov. Are you ready for this? We are. I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Killing off Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. The Duke has pissed away any respect I might have had for his position. He's going to pay for his part in Delilah's coup. And there we go, our psychopathic uh, voice coming in there again. So let's head to the skiff. We, of course, again have a non lethal option, which is to depose him. And, well, we'll get the explanation in a second. Here we go. Should we head toward the palace? Of course, you dum dum. Where else should we go? Ready. There we go. Masking up. So again, a bit of a double mission. We need to take out the Duke, the Duke has a look -like body double. and they destroy Delilah's spirit in the statue. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker. If that helps, maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job. Pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. So, aside from having a double objective, we also get another uh, double level because we need to get through another area before we get to the mansion. Because this, yeah, this harbor kind of is something we need to get through before we get to the Grand Palace. Although we can see it from here already, which is, of course, not a problem. Um, we're going to do this rather quickly. So, we get to these first two guards over here, I think. If I'm quickly enough, I think I could just take them out. And the more I can take out over here, the better. I think I'm just going to keep it like that. So just the elite guard. And then just swap over to the crossbow. I don't know why I have the, the heart equipped. Um, so there's this place. Which I think we can just go through. And then this place over here, which just keeps that calming down. We don't lose a lot of health doing that. Okay, let's get over here. And then we can get through this little alley and onto the other side of the street. Now, we need to get into this shop, but I think there's a guard. Yeah, a guard over there. So I'm just going to pass by. Oh, and there's a guard over there. Lost change. The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when needed. You know who else had a nice shop? Oh, there we go. Oh, no. ah! And take out the civilian up here. So this guy has a safe shop. So that's, I think, the second safe shop in the game. Because there's another one right where we... Uh, a, few, a few chapters ago. But let's see what else this guy has cooking. 
because in the uh, cash register there's actually a shopkeeper's apartment key which is something we really need oh god oh god didn't didn't need to do that and this guy down there we go both of them dead and then i can take the health canister over here as well i think that's pretty much it for this building i just wanted to get the key well, we did have to kill a few people for that. So you can see there's another apartment up there. We don't really need to get there. Just want to stay clear of the spotlight. Because I think it swivels back and forth. Can I get from this apartment? I don't think so. I think I need to go to the other side there. But let's just wait until the light swoops over. So in the back alley, I did just use the building to get to the other side. Um... Let's just go over here and there's another singing couple which you also need to listen to if you want to have all the trophies. But for now I think we're fine. So we're in Howler territory here. So we need to be careful but I want to go up there. Oh Jesus Christ. That was a problem. I totally missed that bomb there. Holy crap that scared the shit out of me. Whew. Okay, let's open that up, and now I think we're in the correct apartment. Holy crap! Whew. I just jumped out of my skin there. Uh, okay, there's at least two guards in there. And I think if we go all the way up this building, if I recall correctly, we can get to the shopkeeper's apartment. Or not, because it seems to open up here. Might be remembering this wrong. Oh yeah, this area has a few guards. Who's going to attack a man like the Duke? And this guy is just yeah, playing dice, losing his life. Uh, so now yeah, we're at the the wall of light, but yeah, we need to get into that building if you want to get out safely. So yeah, I just explored this for no reason. But at least we got a bit a bit of stuff out of this. And I exploded as well, which was not so nice. You know what? I do have one more spring razor, so uh. Huh? Uh You're gonna trigger that or not? What? Okay. You've been hey, who is guilty of standing in my way. Oh snap! That was a jumping attack. Where the hell are you going? Where the hell are you Oh, I didn't place it. Just go down. There we go. It's a bit more messy. I thought I placed the spring razor, but apparently not. So that was the reason why I was standing there like an idiot. So, but this gives us access to this area. And that's exactly where I wanted to go. Because this is going to give us an easy way to just get to the other side. I can hear the howlers talking to one another. I don't think there's actually anything useful in this place. Where are the grenades? Just howling bolts. Stinging bolts. You could actually use those to scare away the... Oh, bolt. Yeah, that's the light. That's the light. Can we actually go down here? I think there's actually a sh... That's an alarm. This might go horribly wrong, so let's quick save. So, quick saving. And then just... When the saving icon is gone... There we go. Stabbed. Oh god. Okay, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Are there guards in this place? I'm just gonna. Ow! Jesus. Uh and then maybe I stun mine over here, so we're pretty safe. Yeah, there goes it one time, and I think this is the, yeah, there we go, the apartment that I wanted to go into. And we lost our pursuers as well, so let's just eat our fill and get out of this place. So this is the, the apartment of the safekeeper, and he has actually a safe in his house. Uh, at first glance, you can't find the safe combination, but there's a picture of him here. And you can see the safe code. It's actually one of the only safe codes that's always the same. It's always 123, because it's kind of a gag that he would use 123 as his safe code. And there we go, 123. And that gives us a bit more bullets and a gold and silver ingot. There we go. 
And then after that, you can use either of the doors to just head into the Grand Palace area. There we go. And then we enter the Grand Palace proper. It's a very cool level, not as intricate as the Kraken uh, in Time. Uh, Kraken the Slab, I think that mission is called. Or the, um, what's the other one? The Clockwork Mansion. But still, it's a, it's a nice a nice little area. Um, I think... And we get to do the job how we see fit. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. We collect the fee... And there we go, double assassination with the crossbow, because now we have perfect aim with the crossbow, which is very, very nice. And then we get Divian Beer, Health Elixir. Oh, I'm full up on Health Elixir. Okay then, don't mind if I do. Then get this guy, ooh, yeah, they all lost their heads. Apparently my crossbow bolts just keep on breaking, I can't really get those back. I kind of missed the first, uh, the black market in this area, so I never actually bought any supplies, but let's go down. So this is funny, if you killed this guy, I think the other one is just spooked enough to... Goodbye. And taking care of the corpse immediately. Don't get the coins off him, but yeah, that's nice. So let's take a little swim for ourselves. And now we can use that to get to the palace immediately. We could have gone to the upper side as well. But I think I like this area a bit better. You get to the same point anyway. So, uh, and on the way we could have done a bit of murder. Otherwise you, you don't actually need to deal with those four guards. There's another spirit here. Beyond its cage of flesh. Another and there we go. That was uh, huh. Empress Caldwin again. The dead mother of Emily just uh, talking into our ears a bit. So let's move up. This uh, mission is a bit interesting. So we have the Lila Spirit and now we have two areas where the guy can actually be. Um, Duke Luca Abel. There we go. Just gonna murder his ass. And just yeah, we don't we don't leave any witnesses, so let's just let's just get him out of the way. And now I think we can actually go upstairs. But what I wanted to tell talk about was that this mission is interesting because it gives you a few ways to deal with it again. Um, there's five areas where the duke can be holed up, and his uh, double as well. So we just go down. I think that's fine. We can just sneak in up here. There's one of them. And I think the rest of them are drunk. So if I just take out this guy, that's actually fine. Because I think the rest of them are all sleeping. Because they're flat. Because the first time I went in here, I thought they were all just dead already. But they're actually just nice drunk. Payroll. There we go. Let's just clean up a bit. Clean up a bit. It's so dirty in here. Full of corrupt guards. And then we have this guy. So we need to be careful. We need to be careful because that thing can actually detect us pretty quickly. But I'm going to use it against uh, our enemy. So it's right over there right now. And if I just stay over here, I can actually ambush it in a second. So give me a second. There we go. There we go. We got the hack in, and then my next step is gonna be... So he's gonna just murder everybody he sees. And if I open up this door, I can actually help him out a bit. So let's just open up that door. And this, the clockwork soldier is just gonna... Murder his ass. There's a lot of voices going on here. And there we go, he's shooting at the soldiers in there. Just gonna move back a bit. Because he's just gonna murder everybody. And I think he just blew up, okay. So he took out a few. Just gonna check out if there's anybody else in here that I need to murder now. Oh, he's actually unconscious. Yeah, okay, so there's an elite. Who's that? There we go. It's me, Mario. Ah, you know what? I don't like to leave. 
witnesses, so goodbye, wealthy civilian. So, I want to go downstairs, because there's a secret passageway into Delilah's statue room. And we also need to be careful, because we need to get to the Duke sooner rather than later as well. Let's see what we can actually use here. Maybe the gun for now, before I go loud. So, we need to drop down one more level. Oh, he's just freaking out. Let's just leave. So let's use the elevator and go to Duke Abel's chambers directly. We can start with that. We can start with the brutal murder of the Duke. So he could be in there as well. The officers and guest rooms, he can definitely be there as well. But for now, let's start with this area. If I recall correctly, there's only one guard and it's the guy up there. So if I just go sideways... Should be fucked in a second. There we go. And then there is a duke here. I don't know if this is... Parasite. Was that the duke or not? This must be the key to the duke's vault. Oh yeah, so the, the, the real duke has the key, the, the other guy doesn't. So I think we actually just got lucky there and got to the first place where he could be. And there he was immediately. So that's the real duke down. Let's do this guy. Unlock a few things and keep going. Now, you know what? Since we actually did that, might want to just keep going. Is there a guard underneath me? It doesn't seem like there is. Let's just drop down from one ledge to the next. Okay. Because in there is the Lila spirit. So if we just drop down a few times. Uh, there's a gazebo over there. Must be the easiest way to go down. But there's one guard hold up there as well. So you can see him right there against the wall. And there we go. Jumping stab. These guys are all going to freak out, but that's not that big of a problem. The only obstacle in our way is now another clockwork. Oh, no. I was going to say another clockwork soldier, but this guy's here as well. Hi. And now we can put that down in here. Okay, the machine has detected something. So there we go. And he's supposedly going to get zapped in a second. Machine yeah, there we go. And there we go. Clockwork soldier taken out. Can't really... I can get the nameplate. No, I can't. I can't. So now we need to be careful. Because that thing is going to... Oh! Okay. What? That usually doesn't happen. That was weird. He's not supposed to this do that. To the so let's get on top of this area. And then through... Okay, so there's a window over here which should get us inside Let's as see well. Duke Bell keeps hidden away in here. So now we're outside of the range of this thing. So let's unlock this it and open it up. Vault. It's a big door. But it opens up in this direction. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're inside of the vault. I'm um, just gonna... Hmm. We want to take that out. There we go. Easy peasy. Extra diagnostic playback link. And if I recall correctly, there's one more clockwork soldier in here. The is there we go. Now he's going to come over here because he saw me. Zap once and zap twice. And there he goes. Goodbye. So, now I'm just going to loot the place a bit because there's a few... A few interesting items around here. And I do need to refill a few of my supplies. And in the center of the room we have Delilah's the effigy. To hold Delilah's spirit. And then we can select the heart and just collect the spirit out from it. This is it. Release me from this dead vessel. Free of this poison world and trap Delilah's spirit. Do it. You were all I ever wanted. Let me go. I've seen, seen too much, much of this world. world. There is blood, blood on your hands. I did it for you. To keep your throne. For your legacy. My daughter. You are becoming everything I fought against. I love you. 
Goodbye. So yeah, we need to empty out the heart. So there goes dear mommy's spirit. But now there's of course space for Delilah's corrupted spirit. So it's done. Now to take Delilah's spirit. Hello, Delilah. The heart of my half sister. Only the flesh remains. There we go. Maybe Completely stripped free. Uh, and that's that. Now we can actually just head out the way we came. Because uh, right next to the book we're soldier outside is uh, the exit out of here. So let's just go back through the safe. I think I can actually skip the clockwork soldier like this. Yeah, so I, don't, I can keep my last stun mine. There we go. The private dock. Which apparently has... Is that a corpse? Is that my fault? There. Now to wait. Might be my fault. Yeah, it says now to wait, but for some reason she's just gonna dock over there. So we need to have a little swim ourselves. To just get to the skiff, which is slowly arriving. There we go. Of course we did! We kinda murdered a lot of people as well. Both civilians and soldiers, so... But, you know what? All in a day's work, and it was kinda bloody. As advertised, so... Uh, Hello, Megan. Can I get on the boat? Can I get on the boat? There we go. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka? Duke yes. Of is dead. Long live whatever comes next. Back to the dreadful whale, then. And on toward Dunwall. So the yes. alternative the was to talk to the double take back and have the double take Duke Luca Abel's place, which Ready would then? be better for Karnaka. Right. But yeah, As we're not we're not doing this that way. There we go! 27 kills and only 10 detections, body detections and 8 normal detections. So, lethal but in the stealth range. So there we go. My life story changed when an assassin named Dao drove a sword through my mother's chest. Now I'm coming home with the same purpose in mind. Is this what Dao felt? Planning the approach? Wondering how it would feel to kill an empress? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah. But you will. You will. When we stab a sword through your heart. So, we're on to chapter 9, back on the dreadful whale. Which means I'm gonna take a little break. But when we get back, we're on to our final episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of A Bloody Quick Way Through Dishonor 2. Goodbye.